I think that uh, likely, based on impact, that will be the greatest medical advance in the last 100 years. Right now, only in the U.S., we have 100,000 victims of COVID every, every day, 1,000 deaths every day. That is the CEO of Pfizer reacting to news this week that their coronavirus vaccine looks to be 90 percent effective. The company is now on track to apply for emergency use approval from the Food and Drug Administration later this month. But should Catholics have any cause for concern with this vaccine? Joining me now on Skype is Dr. Joseph Meany, president of the National Catholic Bioethics Center. Welcome back. Joseph, as a bioethics expert, can you clarify, are fetal cell lines involved in this Pfizer vaccine? So the good news is not at all. Uh, it's a new type of vaccine, uh, the mRNA type, it's similar to the Moderna vaccine that does not use any cell lines whatsoever in its production. So in that case, there are no cell lines involved in its development or production. Excellent. And can you clarify, is it, in Catholic understanding, morally licit for fetal cell lines to be used in the testing stage of a vaccine, but not in the production and development? Can you explain that? Sure. No, I, anytime one is using cell lines that were derived from an abortion, uh, the scientists are doing something they shouldn't be doing. And so, uh, unfortunately, there is this very, very widespread practice to use, like, the HEC 293 cells, the human embryonic kidney cells, to do the testing phase. So not in the production or in the development of the, of the vaccine, but just in the testing. And that is still problematic. Uh, but it is one step removed, uh, you know, from actually producing the vaccines in these abortion-derived cell lines. Mm -hmm. While I have you, what is your reaction to news that Ezekiel Emanuel is on the Biden COVID task force? He has made past comments that he wants to die at the age of 75. Biden himself is almost 78. Right. Yeah. No, it is very concerning because it, it's um, in a whole range of issues. Zeke Emanuel is is very much on the on the extreme liberal end of bioethics. So he has a tendency, I think, to push the envelope. And, and certainly with regard to COVID, you know, pushing a lot of uh, lockdowns and things like that, I, I think it's, it's highly problematic uh, if he's going to be given a big role in the next administration. Excellent. And finally, Dr. Me, as we hear this Pfizer vaccine news this week, what's your last word? What do you want Catholics at home to know? Yeah, so I think Catholics should be reassured, right, that this vaccine is, is not going to be including any fetal cell lines or anything like that. But they should still be concerned, right, that, that our, our institutions are still relying on these abortion-derived cell lines in the testing phase. And, and that should, should not be happening at all. Dr. Joseph Meany, president of the National Catholic Bioethics Center, always grateful for your clarity and expertise. Thank you. Thank you.